projects are a fabulous way to encourage collaborative work between students to produce an end product. If you have a group project you want to do in Canvas, it's very easy. Uh, Canvas not only makes it easy for you to set up the groups and create a group assignment, but also once you have groups established, each group has its own subsection of the classroom where they have their own set of announcements, discussion boards, and even a file area where they can share uh, files between the other members of the group separate from the rest of the class. So the first step in this process is, of course, creating the groups. And this is done in your live classroom by clicking on the people page. And if you click on the group tab next to the everyone tab, the first time, of course, there's going to be no groups set up in here. So we're going to create a group set, and that's going to be the na name of the project itself. It can be called whatever you need it to be. I'm going to be not very creative here, but I'm going to call it group project. But if you had group project one and group project two and three, you're going to want to put a descriptive name in there to indicate which group project this is. Now, you can allow self sign up, uh, which if you do that, you're going to have to create individual group names and then allow the students and encourage and push the students to sign up for each group. I don't quite have the patience for that, so I'm going to split the students into equal number, randomly assigned members to a group. Uh, I need five groups of about four to five students is going to work for this project. Now, I only have one section, but if you have a meta classroom with multiple sections, section one, two, and three, etc., you are going to want to require the members to be in the same section. Uh, you can, instead of uh, randomly, you can just create five groups and you can assign one by one the members to that group. Uh, again, I'm a little lazy here, I'm going to let it randomly assign and I'm going to show you that you can move students around after this random assignment if you need to. Now leadership is, uh, you do not have to, it's optional, uh, assign, you can have it automatically randomly assign a student leader. Um, if you have a self sign up, you can have it be the first person who joins the group, that's the go getter. Uh, or you can have it randomly again, set the student as the group leader. I'm going to leave this blank for right now. I'm not going to, I'm going to let them uh, decide who their leader is. Uh, they, they don't have any more or less uh, options um, than the other students, but what it does do is you can have that person be the one that you contact about why your, the group is not doing what it's supposed to be doing or why they haven't submitted or anything related to any concerns that you have. It's nice to have a point person. So, uh, I'm going to show, I'm going to leave this blank because I'm going to show you another place that you can set a group leader once you figure out who that leader is going to be. Now I'm going to hit save and what is going to happen is it's going to randomly assign the students into the five groups calling it project one, two, three, four, five. Uh, you can rename, you can edit this and rename each group if you want to. I'm going to leave it project one, two, and three. You want to see who is in the group first. You can see there's four students in this group and five students in this group. If you want to see uh, who is in the, any particular group, you can expand and you can see the five members of this group. If you want to or have a request for a student to be moved to another group, you can find that student. I'm going to just pick on Matthew here and I'm going to ask it to move that student to another group. I'm going to move Matthew to group one. And now group five has only four students and group one has five students. Uh, here I can actually select, as I was said before, a leader. If I want that person to be the point person that I'm going to communicate with about the students' uh, projects and their progress thereof, therein, you can establish that by clicking on the gear and set as, as leader. Now, if I remove a student, I can remove, and I'm gonna show you, this is sort of what it looks like if you manually are creating. If you're manually creating groups, the students will all be listed here. And if I need to add a student, I can actually, this is really cool, drag and drop the student back into a group. That would be a manually creating the groups process. 
Now, the next really cool thing to show while I'm on this screen is that you can visit the group home page. Yes, each group has its own sub area within the group, within the classroom that allows them to work with just the people in their group. As I click on the people tab here, I can see I see only the, the, the group members. I'm always, uh, as a teacher, ex can access anything that they do in this classroom, but um, as for the other students, only members of this group can access this group pray, this group page. And there is a home page, there is announcements, there is even um, individual discussion boards that they can discuss the progress on the class. And last but not least, there's even a file area where they can share different files and work on this collaboration to produce the end product that they need to produce. Now, if I need to go, if I want to uh, select another group and take a look at what they're doing and seeing their progress in here, I can switch between all of these groups and see what each group is doing to achieve the goals of the project. Now, to get back into the classroom, I can click on uh, the classroom's main page right here, and I'm back into the main page of the classroom. Okay, now that I've got the groups set up, and again, if I want to visit those groups again, if I can, if I click on people here, now I'm going to see a group project called group project. And again, I can make any adjustments here that I need to make. Once you've established the leader, the leader is here and you can actually contact that leader about the group's project progress. Okay, so I'm going to close that out. Next, we have our group set we need to actually assign a group assignment. So let me show you how to create a group assignment. All right, I'm gonna to go to my um, ARTC main page and I'm gonna click on assignments and create a group assignment. Okay, down here on my assignment page, I'm gonna click on assignments and I'm gonna create a brand new assignment inside my assignment area. So I'm gonna add an assignment here and Come on up. Here it is. Okay, so I'm going to click on more options immediately because I have more options that I need to do than is on the initial screen. And go ahead and fill out this is a group project collaboration. Okay, and then I can have the details here of what they need to do. And I might even uh, tell them about the sub page area and how to use that, how to access it. And I can even, um, if you look in my boot camp, there is a video that you can post here that shows the students how to find their group and access that sub page and work. So um, check that out. You can put the, the link to that video here and uh, show them how to access their groups. All right, um, I'm going to make it out of 100 points. It's going to go into that assignment area, or maybe you have something called group project and you can put it in that group. Uh, but the most important thing uh, besides, okay, this is online and it's going to be a file upload that they're sending up here, is that this is a group assignment. When I click this, it's going to ask you, okay, which of the group sets that you've set up does this belong to? And I'm going to say it belongs to the group project. So this is here, if it was group project one and two and three, you would select the additional, or which group project belongs to this assignment, okay? So uh, you set that here. It's already, uh, the members have already been set up in the groups. Here is another little feature that you can set where each student gets a different grade based on what you perceive as their contributions to the group. So they can either get all the same grade or they can get individual grades. And that can reduce some stress from students that feel like they do all of the work and that one student didn't do enough work. So if you want to encourage um, everybody put equal amount of work into it, then you can assign, again, each grade a each student an individual grade now if you uncheck that the same grade will be assigned to all students in that group the rest of the settings are the normal settings that you would have for any assignment which is that you would um, put in uh, the due dates for each one now assigning you're going to leave this assigned to everyone not to groups this is the group setting right here 
It is assigned to everyone. Everyone will receive a grade for this group project. Um, you can have a due date and a available in until. Remember that the until is that grace period. If you want a grace period between the due date and the last day that they can submit the assignment, those are the two dates that you can put here. So I can assign this and say that it's due at the end of the term here. All right, so it's due on the 8th and they can not turn it in in any later than the 8th. No grace period. This is the end of the term. Okay, so I'm going to say I'm not going to publish this because this is my live course, but I hit save and I'm going to have uh, now my group project will be set up and the students uh, can get in here, learn about how to, if you put that video in, learn how to create, how to utilize the groups and sub area and submit their final project. Okay, if you have any questions about groups or setting one up or setting up a group project, don't hesitate to contact me, Julie Muller, your technology trainer or technology services, and we'll be glad to help you set up a group project in Canvas. It's really, really a neat uh, area that's a sub area that Canvas has for uh, you to do this. And so I really encourage it if you've got a group project to set them up in Canvas this way. Again, I encourage you to take a look at on my boot camp page on group projects. Um, I have a sub video just uh, dedicated for students so the students know how to use the group project areas. All right, that's it for this video on group projects.